Hi class, <sighs> sorry about missing uh, another day of school here, but uh, let's get started. We're gonna do this portion, uh, given the graphs answer the questions, so we're basically trying to come up with a function here. Um, a lot of it is actually fairly straightforward and easy. Uh, you can easily see the roots here, so we're gonna work on number, let's, let's just work on number 34. We'll probably do one more, um, just to kind of make sure things are okay. Uh, actually, we'll probably just do the first two. Um, okay, so here we do. <clears throat> so roots, well, roots are obviously negative three. Uh, and the way it's formed, because it, you know, bounces off right here, turns around, that means that it must have a multiplicity of two. It could have any even multiplicity, but let's just go with the simple one, okay? I'm only going to give you one, uh, one, two, or maybe three, but as far as your multiplicity goes. Uh, then right here, we've got another one at one. Uh, and its multiplicity is 1. Uh, the y-intercept looks like 3, so that's good. That's right here, right? We got our y-intercept. Um, looks like to the right it goes down, to the left it goes up, um, which means since it goes down, that means it must be a negative, right? The degree is pretty easy. You just sum them up, so the degree is 3. All right, so we're going pretty well here. The function I want is going to be in factored form. So the first portion is pretty easy. Now, the only thing that we don't know yet, uh, and we'll have to figure out, is uh, what coefficient, what number goes out in front. So we're going to leave that portion empty. But the rest of it's pretty easy. The roots of negative 3 mean we're going to get x plus 3. Multiplicity 2, so there you go. Root of 1, x minus 1. Multiplicity of 1, so just leave it there. Now, what about this number in the front? Well, what you're actually going to use is you're actually going to use your y-intercept. Your y-intercept is when x is 0. So, uh, so when x is 0, so basically when x equals 0, y equals 3. So what we can do is we can say, well, this must mean it goes 3 equals some number out here. So I'm going to write an a, uh, and I'm going to solve for it. But then, everything else, the x's are zeros. So I'm going to say 0 plus 3 squared, 0 minus 1. What does that mean? Well, we get 3 equals a. Looks like that's going to be 9 times, oops, negative 1 like that. That's negative 9. And so 3 equals... Uh, a times negative 9. How do I get rid of the negative 9? I simply divide by negative 9. That cancels out over here. And I get a negative 1 third equaling a. So now I know. And I'm done. Um, so that's it. It's pretty much easy as that. We'll do one more together, though. Okay. So let's... Sh All right. Yeah. Well, I don't know why I did that. Anyway. Um, let's take a look at this. So hopefully you can see the roots. Roots are negative 3, 0, 2. Um, so negative 3, multiplicity 1, 0, multiplicity 2, and 2, multiplicity 1. This looks like A to the right, it goes up. To the left, it goes up. The degree must be 4. This is a positive, right? And the y-intercept is 0. Because the y-intercept is 0, um, basically there's not finding the, the, the thing out in front. Uh, the only thing, we can't really find it. Um, I'll, I'll show you in a second here. But let's leave a space anyway. So again, leave this space here. Uh, but then do everything else. Root of negative 3. Okay, x plus 3. Multiplicity 1. Uh, then we have an x to the 0. Oh, actually, you know what? This is going to be a little weird. I just like putting x to the 0. Or, sorry, 0 being a root, I like just putting x out in front, and that's squared. Okay, so that's the root of 0. So if you have a root of 0, it's just a normal x. I like putting it out in front. Could you put it out in the middle? Could I, put it, uh, could I have put it after the x plus 3? Sure doesn't matter. The order doesn't matter. It's all multiplication. But I don't know. I like putting it out there. Uh, then we have an x minus 2. Done. That's also to the first. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, 
should anything out go out in front? Well, the thing is, is since the y-intercept is zero, when I plug in zero for the y, and I set everything else equal to zero, since we have this, it's zero times three, right? We got our a out in front, maybe. Zero times three times negative two. Well, zero times anything is zero, so we can't really figure out what a is. The only really thing that we need to make sure is we need to make sure that our function is, in fact, positive. And the way we have it written right now, it is uh, because we just have a positive number here, right? You don't actually have to put the plus there, but it's an understood plus one. Um, positive one, I should say. It's an understood positive one, so we're good. Uh, we do not need to make sure that this thing is negative. Um, so we're good. Um, if this was a negative polynomial, if this was a negative polynomial right here, I, will, I would just have to do that, right? Make it a negative x squared. But it's not. It's positive, right? It's positive because the right goes up. Done. Um, okay, so we're going to leave it like this. And we are done. I'd like you to finish this one off, okay? Finish all six off for me today. Should be relatively easy. Um, there's only one, let's see, everything has a multiplicity of one or two, except for this right here. Check that out. Um, that obviously is a multiplicity of, think about it, three. So that right there is gonna have a multiple, it's a saddle point, right? This thing right here is the saddle point. Saddle points are odd multiplicities. Um, we're just gonna go one, two, or three. This one's gonna be the three. In fact, that's the only three on this work, so. Um, and then you're done. Uh, I'm not giving you a ton of work here, so I do very much so expect it to be completed. Um, please finish this up by tomorrow. And uh, take your time to, you know, maybe catch up on anything else that you haven't done uh, up until this point. So you've got some, some work to do um, if you've, uh, you know, fallen behind. Um, you can also correct your tests. Uh, I know some of you should uh, retake that. Um, so anyway, I will see you tomorrow. Thanks.